Hello, this is Richard Perry. This presentation is entitled Stand Firm and Contend for the Faith. Now, if we realize that we've entered into the time of the end, we should also be seeking to understand what is expected of us. One of the things the Bible seems to be pretty clear about is that we of the faith are supposed to stand firm and contend for the faith. But if we don't know the faith, we don't know what the Word of God has to say for ourselves, then we will not be able to stand firm and contend for the faith. We could stand firm in the teachings of others, or stand firm in the teachings of man, or stand firm in the traditions of man, but unless we understand what the Bible has to say, we won't be able to stand firm and contend for the true faith of the Word of God. Stand firm and contend for the faith recognizing that we're in the time of the end. We should also be aware that prophets prophesy lies. Priests rule by their own authority. And my people love it this way. So what will we do in the end? Stand firm and contend for the faith. But to stand firm, we must know the Word of God. We must recognize His voice and be comfortable with it. Stand firm and contend for the faith. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their enemies in the gate. If you do not stand firm in your faith, you will not stand at all. Stand firm, contend for the faith. All men will hate you because of me, but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. And if you're going to stand firm and contend for the faith, take the advice in Ephesians 6. Put on the full armor of God, so when the day of evil comes, you may stand your ground. Take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Pull it out of your sheath and prepare to use it so that we can defend the faith, contend for the faith, and stand firm in the faith. Until the Lord's coming, be patient and stand firm, because the Lord's coming is near. Is it really important that we stand firm and contend for the faith? Suppose the servant says, my master is taking a long time in coming, and he goes about his business. When the master comes, he will cut him to pieces and assign him a place with the unbelievers. From everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded. Stand firm and contend for the faith. Now is the time. This is the time. We've entered into the time of the end. We've seen the beginning of birth pains. We've seen the first seal of Revelation opened. The next seals will be opened shortly and we can expect the birth pains to continue until the coming kingdom and the return of the Messiah. Now is important that we have a grasp on the faith and that we stand firm in it. Because if we stand firm and hold on to the faith until the end, we'll be saved.